Is there a recession coming? What are the warning signs? That's what we're talking about today on The Money Factor. Hi, welcome to The Money Factor. I'm Ian Varley. Are you ready for the next recession? A lot of businesses have been submitting questions online at hashtag the money factor, asking us about that and what do we think? How can we help them prepare? Let's take a few of those questions now. As a financial expert, are you seeing any signs of a slowdown? As I'm hearing a lot of talk about a recession. Great question. You know, there is a lot of talk online at the moment and in the news. Fact is, a recession is inevitable, I'm afraid. I don't want to be doom gloom, but the, the fact is, in the United States history, apparently there's been 47 recessions. So that's one on average every four or five years. It's been 10 years since the last one. Everybody remembers 2008. Well, look at us now. We're way past that. But really and truly, there hasn't been a great recession since then. So we know that there's one coming. There are signs out there. A lot of economists will talk about whether it's the housing market that we can look at, whether it's the trucking industry that we can say, okay, deliveries are slowing down. You know, you can look at whatever signs you like. You have to look at your business. And in particular, the level of orders that you're taking and any signs that you're seeing from your customers about slowdown in their purchasing habits, anything like that that you can look to. Uh, you can obviously go online and see a lot of insight there. There is one that really catches my eye called the Bowtie Economist and it's graphs and laughs. We'll put a link on the video about this and he's great. He makes it entertaining. So pick your poison. Whichever source you want to look at, you'll be able to find an answer. But my best advice is talk to your customers. What are they doing? Are they likely to slow down their business with you over the next few months? Ask them why. What are they seeing? That's your biggest indicator. How will increasing interest rates impact my business? Interest rates have been on the rise. And again, there's a lot of talk whether they will continue that way or not. Obviously, we want the economy to keep growing. If interest rates go up, that impacts business confidence. Obviously, there's a direct impact on your business if you're borrowing money and your rates rise. If you have a loan, it's linked to the prime rate or the LIBOR rate. That goes up, you're going to pay more in interest cost, and that's going to affect your business. It may not be a significant impact initially if it's a half point here, half point there, but over time it adds up. And you need to perhaps adjust your budget, look at your interest cost, see if there's a, a competing uh, provider out there that will give you a better deal, a better rate, whether it's a credit card with a promo rate, interest-free period, all those things you can look for. There's still going to be a lot of competition, even though interest rates may be on the rise, there's going to be a lot of competition for your business. So shop around. Don't just stick with your existing provider if you can get a better deal out there. But the fact is, yes, interest rates will impact the costs in your business. They will impact business confidence, which is actually probably more of a worrying fact that you need to look at. People will slow down. They'll become cautious. And that's where you really see business uh, starting to level out and hopefully not drop, but it can happen. So keep an eye on it. Look at the news. See what the trends are. And stay informed because getting ahead of that curve, looking at what the impact your business can be, is important. Remember, with factoring, our rates are actually pegged to your invoice value. So they're not affected by interest rate rises. It's something to consider. It actually can keep your business away from those type of uh, cost rises that are coming down the road when interest rates rise. So take a look at factoring. It could be a good alternative for you as well. What should I be looking for as far as early warning signs that there could be a financial problem ahead? There, there will be a slowdown coming. And again, you can look at a lot of different statistics and draw your own conclusions, but there are some key ones to keep an eye on. The housing market, that's always a great indicator. Uh, we saw it in 2008, you know, house prices falling. Really, 2019 is being buoyed up by a strong construction market. There are housing projects going on all the time, and that will continue through the end of the year. So I think we shouldn't see anything, uh, from what I'm reading, that will impact us until the end of the year or beyond. So the housing market and construction in particular, the number of new construction projects that are going on, 
is a good indicator. There is a statistic that, that's come out already in May. Apparently, you know, the forecast new construction build projects is way down on May 18. Well, May 18 was pretty high, so it's not surprising it's a little bit less. But if that trend continues, again, that impacts confidence. Another area is in transportation. Obviously, truckers deliver a lot of the goods uh, across the US. If we're starting to see a slowdown in orders, then we will see freight tonnage drop. And we deal with a lot of truckers here at Eagle. We'll see that fairly early on. We're already talking to our clients about, OK, what are the rates? Are you seeing any pressure in terms of pricing going down? How's the competition looking there for you? So a number of things that, that we look at um, that will give us some indicators. Obviously, yeah, there's so many different things you can look at. Again, focus on your business. That's what's important to you. If you're losing customers because of confidence levels that are dropping, go find some more. Don't stop going out there and building your business and doing all the marketing that you can do just because there are signs with some of your existing customers. They may be isolated from other things. So yeah, there are lots of trends to watch out for. But again, it's not all doom gloom. Definitely keep an eye on your money. That's what we're here for at Eagle. Anything we can help with, please let us know. Well, that's all we have time for today. Thanks again for all the questions. Please keep them coming. Hashtag The Money Factor. You can find us online. Be glad to take any questions you have about business, any concerns you have about recession coming. Keep them coming. But again, thanks for all the questions.